you know, look at this. Thanks, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is pancake day. I've just finished doing a bit of filming. So my sofa area just looks like an absolute bomb has hit it. But yeah, very excited because uh, hopefully you will have seen a Zara haul by now. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in case you missed it. My hair is back as well. I had a day yesterday where I didn't vlog. I spent most of the day sat in the hairdresser's chair having all my hair put back in and I'm very, very happy. What else did I do yesterday? Went to the gym. Yeah, it was very uneventful. I feel like but yeah it's a brand new day brand new week i'm feeling much much better than in my last vlog where i was having a bit of a shit week and just in a really really neggy headspace so yeah i think this week is going to be a really good one i'm really happy with my makeup today as well you know when you're just like i'm having a good day i've had my pancakes i've had my coffee my makeup has gone well i didn't have to do my hair <laughs> i woke up like this it's great. I literally put my hair in like a very, very loose French braid overnight with these. And then I wake up in the morning, take it out and that's it. It's great. Literally only did like a tiny bit of tonging there just because my hair likes to do this, which is very unflattering. But yeah, minimal effort. And I'm so, so happy. People are always like, yeah, short hair's great because it takes so little time to like blow dry. I don't care. I leave my hair to air dry and I don't care if it takes six hours or if it takes three. It still takes time. So yeah, what I really care about is the day-to-day -day styling, using heat on it all the time. It's good to be back, guys. You know how some people are like, I was meant to, I was born to be blonde, I was born to be like brunette, whatever. I don't care. I was born with this. This. <laughs> so I really don't care. I don't care what colour I am, but I was born to have long hair. My mum has been hearing that since I was like three years old. I just always wanted long hair. So she's back. And this is the longest vlog intro in the world. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with my day. I need to go pick Lauren up and then we're gonna get some bits for pancakes. Cause we're having pancakes again <laughs> at our friends tonight. I am calling it pancake week cause I started eating pancakes on Sunday and I have not stopped. So it's gonna be a few gym visits this week as well. But yeah, I'm gonna tidy this up and then we'll go. In case anyone's wondering what I listen to on repeat at the moment is this. Right. Joel Corey, how you doing? I woke up this morning and this little one was dead and I love my coriander so I was slightly heartbroken so I've stuck him outside and given him some water to try and cheer him up. Everything dies in my flat. <laughs> Everything dies. I actually, I think when I move I'm gonna have like a little space where I can grow things so joel if you can survive you're gonna have a new home soon where hopefully you'll get some light come on mate you can do this i feel like joel is a reflection of my life at the moment everything's just kind of like falling apart my flat is just broken my balcony door went closed so hmm just having the best time here. My life is just a little bit of a mess. I feel like it's wilting, like Joel. Shout out to Ryan for naming the coriander plant Joel Corey. I was impressed with that one. So, as a result of that, I feel like this vlog is gonna end up being a little bit of a sort my life out one. I have a working from home day tomorrow. More for Lauren. She works from home. I tend to just play a whole day of like, catching up with like life admin i've got the biggest i won't show you because my address is all over it but there's the biggest stack of paperwork on my kitchen table at the moment so i need to sort my way through that tomorrow and i also need to sort i don't even want to show you what my bedroom and dressing room look like at the moment but they're awful because i've just been filming so much style content and then going on trips to london and stuff like that and i've got another couple of trips coming up soon so i just really need to get organized for that yeah so i think this vlog is going to be a bit of a kind of life in general one but also a sorting my life out vlog because it just needs it i'm going to do a food shop as well because my fridge is a little bit bare like you know when it's just like there's a lot of random shit in your fridge but not stuff that you're going to eat like there's a lot of random stuff in there like mangoes and fruit i don't eat fruit i don't like fruit so i'm going to do a little food shop today as well get my life in order it's going to be great so this is my outfit of the day. I know, I've changed since uh, like 10 minutes ago, but I felt like wearing all black. So I'm wearing the same leggings. So these are Zara leather look leggings, but I don't really think they actually look that leathery, to be honest. They're more like, they remind me of disco pants from American Apparel, 
I've got my Zara chunky boots on, a Topshop t-shirt. I think I got this in a size 10 or a medium. I will let you know. But yeah, I got this recently and I just really love it. I love the fit. It's like it's nice and loose and slouchy. It's slouchy, but it doesn't look over the top slouchy. It just looks really pulled together with a pair of leggings and boots and I love that kind of vibe. And then this leather jacket is from Zara as well. Then my sunglasses are from Ray-Ban. I'm really trying to encourage the sun to come out today because it keeps like poking through. It's kind of like it's there. It's really trying. Bless it. Did I just bless the sun? That's weird. Anyway, I'm trying. Uh, and then I've got a little sunglasses chain on. And then I'm carrying this bag. I don't really use this bag too much anymore, but what I like to do when I know that I'm going into like a supermarket and I'm probably going to pick some bits up is I like to take a bigger bag because then I don't have to use a plastic bag and I always forget my bags for life. Like I will put them in the boot. They are currently in the boot, but I never remember them. So I always remember my handbag. So I've just kind of started making a point of getting bigger like tote bags and handbags to like be my one bag for the day but then I actually remember and I don't use a plastic bag so every little helps let's go I'm awkward when I vlog I feel really sorry for you guys sometimes sorry look at the size of this parking space look how big that is that's wild I think that might be the best I've ever parked <laughs> it does it was so quick it was so easy I'm a pro. <laughs> I need to take my braid out. Shout out to the viewer that I just met in the gym. I'm really sad I didn't get to ask her name because we were kind of like rushing out of the gym and going in different directions. But um, I'm sure we'll see each other again because same gyms. You guys are so sweet. I love when you say hi. Thanks. Tell me all pancakes because <laughs> I'm sure they'll work out better than mine. <laughs> your camera this morning because he's wearing red and he thinks it doesn't go with the aesthetic. He's right. He's right. I'm having the craziest caffeine rush right now and oh my god I just I love coffee I love it it literally makes me so happy I can bounce off the walls hi it's Tuesday actually I'm in a really I'm really glad that I'm having this caffeine rush right now because I need to sort my life out today as I said yesterday just curled my hair I actually had the energy to curl my hair for once it actually like fell out overnight normally I french braid it so I wake up and it's got a slight like wave to it and then I don't have to do anything to it but it fell out in the night so I thought I'd just do the whole shebang and curl it because I was talking to Zoe yesterday about curling tapes because it helps your hair blend when it's shorter. I now I'm feeling her pain because our hair is I think about the same length. But yeah, we were talking about how it helps your hair blend. I have missed this so much. Missed it so much. But yeah, I'm really happy that I'm having a caffeine rush right now because I've got to do a serious amount of sorting my life out today. Just don't touch your hair, Susan. You won't have this problem. You will not have this problem. Wow. So yeah, I have got a lot to sort out. I'm not even going to show you the starting pile that is like here because it's disgusting. So I'm going to kind of get into some kind of order because I'm actually ashamed of myself. Yeah, ashamed. That is the word I'm using. I need to shake my curls out a little bit as well, actually. I'm just going to put them 
behind me so I'm not thinking about it but I'm ashamed of how out of control things are at the moment so I am going to do a lot of sorting out today because in the next couple of weeks I want to start clearing out things a bit more ready for when I move I don't know yet when I'm going to be moving but my contract is up here in April so I feel like I should start prepping so yeah I feel like in order to start like just kind of getting things in order decluttering a little bit in other spaces so like my work shelves you don't really see them very often it's just like a, a wardrobe shelf a bit like that one but it's filled with tech tech that i never use anymore and i really need to sort through so i need to sort that and there's lots of other like spaces in the flat that i really need to just like have a clear out with but in order to do that i really need like a tidy flat to start with because otherwise it just descends into like beyond chaos so today's port of call is just like getting everything really nice and sorted out especially because i'm going to london again next week and saying so i want to have an organized space ready for when i pack and i'm gonna have to try and keep on top of that when i come back even though london next week is taking over my life so yeah next week's gonna descend into chaos but this week i'm not in london at all so this is my week to like get my shit together get my life sorted that is what we're doing today i've also decided that as a little treat to myself i am gonna go and get like a new kind of flower arrangement for my flat because my roses from valentine's day are gone and i have a very sad empty space there i mean the arrangement might not even go there but i've seen something that i really really like and i was like do you know what hun if you get your shit together today you're allowed to go and get a flower arrangement this is what i do i like to reward myself for doing normal everyday things that i should be responsible for in the first place <laughs> yeah you gotta treat yourself cleaning's really boring anyway so you just need to make it as fun as you can so i'm gonna go for a coffee and a cake with lauren this afternoon she's working from home today and then there's a florist next door which is gorgeous and i know or i think i suspect that they'll do what i want so yeah i'm gonna get a nice little flower arrangement to be like well done hun you know doing that adulting thing that you should have been doing anyway yeah so this is oh my god this actually looks even worse on camera Rocky. my po box just tends to get unloaded onto this work surface and it's not cute so let's do this enough ramblings so i've rambled for four minutes let's do this an accurate representation of how i feel on the inside right now do you ever get to that point where you start cleaning and then you start realizing just how much of a state everything is in and just how much you really have to do and i'm like oh this is gonna be like a week's worth of work which is very annoying because i really wanted to kind of do a how i organize my wardrobe like all my tips basically my friend carla is a personal stylist which is very handy she's a great friend we've known each other since school and we're one of those people that just like picks useful friends i just am very very lucky my friends are very cool and she because of that has taught me a lot about how to organize my wardrobe styling in general i've learned so much from her over the past four or five years yeah She's been styling for quite a long time now. We've been friends since we were like 13, 14. So yeah, we go way back. But she's taught me so much about like organizing my wardrobe, styling my wardrobe, just how to make a wardrobe look really like aesthetically pleasing. I've learned so much from her. So I kind of want to pass my tips on to you. So I'm going to do a blog post and do a vlog to accompany it. Just because I feel like I look at like lots of people's wardrobes and i'm just like oh there's such a just a few like easy tweaks you can make and everything just looks really clean and really nicely organized so i want to like pass those tips on to you but like for free so you don't have to get the personal stylist in because that's goals right so yeah i want to pass that information on but to do that i've got a lot that i need to do before i get to that stage with the flats hopefully like next week maybe you will get a like organizing and declutter kind of vibe but yeah bedroom is looking much better it's just this over here that i really need to deal with now that is a mess i already started cleaning it and then there was more mess under the mess and i was just like oh my god also just cleared out my suitcase uh just here went to put it back in the wardrobe and realized that ryan hasn't emptied his suitcase yet 
Naughty Donnie. I'm gonna get him when he comes home. <laughs> yeah, so now I need to sort this area. Yeah, I need to sort this area. I've got a dress here. This is, if you're wondering why there's just a dress hanging behind me. I've got a sheet for a brand that is a little bit tricky at the moment. So I'm just like pulling color color because I know this is a not a normal color for me so I've got a lot of color and I'm gonna see what I can work with I need to brainstorm that today I've got such a big to-do list the most incredible trip has come in and I'm really excited and I can't wait to tell you about it I think it's kind of soonish it's like it's in March so I keep thinking it's ages away but actually March is like a few days away which is nuts and especially by the time you see this it will be March, oh my god. So yeah, I've got the most incredible trip coming up and uh, there's something really cool that is kind of like penciled to happen on it. Like I get to speak to someone who I really, I really like. It's not Ariana Grande, don't get too excited. I won't be crying at anyone. But yeah, someone who I've followed for years and years and years and years and watched on something for years and years and years. So there's like some really cool stuff coming up. So I need to like think about stuff for that. And then I need to think about stuff for this brand project. And then I need to think about got like stuff on next week. And then I also need to do all my admin work. And then I also need to finish off some other brand work. So today is crazy. And I'm just like, I need all of this in line first so that I can really do my best work. Like the foundation of my life is just like making sure this is all in good order so that I can do my best work. I'm thinking the best start would be to sort out these bloody boxes. What was I doing? Let's move all my important documents out of the way before we get started. <laughs> my life is a mess. So I've just been sorting out some beauty bits. I've put my makeup bags away in this drawer. I'm hoping they're all gonna fit, but I wouldn't put money on it if I'm honest. I've got some bits that I might see if Lauren wants here. I've got some bits for my makeup kit when I do my friend's makeup. So sometimes there's things, shades that don't suit me, but I know my friends whose makeup I do regularly and I know that these will work nicely on them and things that I know that they'll love and they'll feel really special when they wear. And then I've got bits that I Want to keep actually that might be one for Lauren let me look at the shade of that oat I can't remember if that's Lauren's one on mine I know we bought back a lot of stuff from my PO box I'm gonna put it there just in case yeah so I've just got a lot of things that need to go in my makeup drawer which is down here um I've popped a few bits here like extra fragrances that I don't want to forget about so we've got my by Killian I also put my by Killian lipstick here because it's just so special it's just like too special to be in a drawer that packaging is incredible honestly the most gorgeous red lip i think i own look at that ah uh, yeah it's honestly stunning it's the best i'll link it in the info box if you want to purchase i would highly recommend it's the matte red if anyone's wondering i think the packaging on the outside is slightly different as well this feels more of a matte on the outside i believe the other ones are a little bit shinier i could be wrong but it's not out of the realms of possibility for me to be wrong. So yeah, I keep that with all of my Bikillian fragrances and then my YSL. Yeah, and then I've got just some bits to put back in. The new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk though, I actually need to take the highlight out because I want to wear that. It is beautiful. I've just put it on the back of my hand. It's that like pinky sheen. So pretty, so pretty. I've also got a lot of the Armani what are these called like lip to cheek things so basically they're like lip and cheek thingies oh they're amazing i will pop what they're called in the info box and put a link to them these pink shades they look that pink on the end looks terrifying but they're actually stunning actually i think i might want to put some of those in my everyday makeup bag god this is the problem i want to put things in my drawer and like have them put away but then i just keep taking things out because i love makeup <laughs> I really love makeup. So I'm showing you this from over here because I obviously don't want to show you my paperwork, but that is the stack. This here is a stack of paperwork that I now need to deal with. Joel Corey is sitting on top of it because that was the only way the light was hitting him this morning. So that's why he's there, because otherwise that looks really weird. I'm well aware of that. But yeah, I need to sort out that paperwork. Can't do a montage of that though, because you know, data protection and all that, but just know that I need to sort this. So I'm sat on my floor in my dressing room, hi. And I'm watching this video, I don't know if this is gonna focus. Lydia and 
Lorna shared this on stories this morning and I'm so grateful to them for sharing it. I'm going to link it in the info box but basically it's kind of about being critiqued in a creative field. Critiqued being the kind word to be using. But my favourite quote from this is basically, if you're not in the arena I don't want your feedback. And uh, yeah, I'm going to link this below so that you can all go and watch it because she has some sound points and I don't know who this woman is, I've never seen her before in my life but I love her. So yeah, if you are in a creative job or you do YouTube, photography, anything like that, I think you should watch this. And now I'm going to get back to sorting out my wardrobe room. Okay, living room is looking good. Wardrobe room. I can see the floor, so, or some floor. It's an improvement. <laughs> I can see the side here again, an improvement. Bedroom is better, I just need to sort out these coats, those are Ryan's jeans so I don't need to sort those, but I need to decide what I'm doing with these coats, I might put them into storage, is that wishful thinking considering the weather has not brightened up? I'm trying not to do too much actual putting things into storage before I do my wardrobe kind of organisation and clear out, so I'm just in like this weird limbo really, so I'm just gonna like do my best with those until I have a chance to give that my full attention because if I start that now it will not be cute I will be here for the rest of the week just doing wardrobe clear out so I need to like park that for another day but that's all looking much much neater it's just going to allow me to like keep this in check until the weekend and then I can clean and like deep clean everything it's just, just going to be great still got lots of little like household bits to do but it's just really nice to have like a sort out of like the chaos that ensues when I'm like in and out. I have a lot of comments on these videos when I do them normally that's like why don't you just like put away your coat after you use it and it's not really like that it's not like I just come in I come in every day and I put my coat that I've worn in the wardrobe but this is like when you do shoots and you take like multiple coats with you when you go to London and you take lots of clothes with you and then maybe you come back from London and then you need to go somewhere again just switching things out of a suitcase and it does end up being quite chaotic and a little bit of a mess yeah it's a very different job a job where stuff is constantly like in and out and sometimes i'll have like that wardrobe room will be spotless and all of my returns are like in check and everything is fine and then some months it's absolute chaos so yeah it's just not like my day-to-day -day, like putting coats away i'm really capable of that but sadly when you're like working with like big amounts of product and clothes like obviously when you do a makeup tutorial you have to get so much product out and then you put it away and stuff like that so like whether it's beauty or fashion most youtubers just have a lot of like mess there's a lot of mess that comes with the job and if your schedule is full you don't always factor in that like big chunk of time really that you need to like break down your setup to clean up there's a lot and I, my life used to be a lot more chaotic than this because I just would never do the breakdown and it would be disgusting just constantly. And I was in a one bedroom flat with so much product and it just wasn't nice. So yeah, things are much better now. I'm much better order. Helps Ryan and I have separate houses. So I know this flat is just like all my mess to take care of. And his doesn't particularly factor in apart from like one suitcase that he hasn't unpacked and a pair of jeans. So it's nice and easy to be honest i'm feeling very very grateful for that but yeah so i'm pretty much like done i'm gonna get dressed and do a little bit of work and then i'm going out to see lauren and i'm gonna get my little floral arrangement <laughs> hope that it actually works out because otherwise i'm gonna be sad i'm ready to go out and i just wanted to show you this lipstick i am absolutely loving it at the moon i've worn it the past three days in a row i want to say it's so gorgeous it's like a really sheeny glowy pink but it's not like sheeny like it's sheer it's not at all it's like very very pigmented it's a really beautiful like natural nudie pink i've been wearing it with a little bit of my normal like nude kkw or charlotte tilbury lip liner lip liner yeah uh charlotte tilbury iconic nude or kkw nude one they're very very similar kkw is just slightly cooler toned which my lips are very pinky toned so it kind of cancels it out and i love that but i've been wearing it with like a tiny bit of pink dior blush over my cheeks there's just this lovely like luminous glow which is great because i've got a little bit of like scarring around my cheeks at the moment so it's just kind of helping to still make me look quite glowy i mean i will put my spf on in a minute in a minute and look like a global but 
yeah i like the underneath so still be glowy just in case i don't need to put my spf on but um i'm leaving the house so i do this lipstick is the i can't remember what they're called i will link it in the info box but it's called princess kiss it's cute all of the uh oh shit i just smushed it no um that'll teach me for trying to do too many things at once what was i gonna say i feel like all of the charlotte tilbury lipsticks i love always have princess in the name i don't know why fun fact for you it's really gorgeous really really gorgeous i am aware i need to bleach my facial hair before anyone tells me girls only got so many hours in the day you know guys i need to clean that and then put it in my bag be right back I cleaned it. I need to talk to you about this. I've just realised I actually have a little bit of vlog footage of me applying this this morning. It's one of those products that the second I started using it, I was actually like, wow, that's that's great. And I have stories of me. Um, I'm going to put it on stories so you might have seen it already. But it's like a before and after and like during application. But this is what I have on my skin at the moment. Just a really, really light wash a bit. I use this brush from MAC. It's the 1113. Zero S, I think I'll link it. But this is the Kevin Acorn Foundation Balm. It's incredible. I apply it with that brush and it just blurs beautifully like this area of my skin. I've got a lot of texture, a lot of like very visible pores. It's just my family, we all have it. And you know, some things settle in it, some things like a luminous foundation kind of doesn't help, but it doesn't make it look shit. Just doesn't do much for it but this actually like smooths it over and just makes it look so much better but like i said i have a lot of scarring on my cheeks so i showed me applying this over my cheeks in the vlog footage i feel like you couldn't really see much of a before because i literally just remembered this morning i was like oh i really want to brush this over and show you guys in the vlog just to kind of illustrate how wicked i think it is wicked lauren's gonna die that i just said that when she's editing this <laughs> it's amazing like it's such good coverage but you don't have to use a lot of all so i'm gonna film a clip of me without makeup on tonight just so you can see the difference and i'll line them up together now but it's just incredible i can't rave about it enough i've got another foundation the by terry one which i'm really enjoying using it's the hyaluronic foundation and it's great it's rehydrating and gives a really lovely glow so i love it for that but for coverage at the moment this is what i'm all about i just love how small an amount you can put on um and get such a good coverage so i feel like my skin is actually like being allowed to breathe at the moment so i have the by terry cc serum in sunny flash on and then i have a really light amount of that kevin aquan foundation over my cheeks and then that's it on my cheeks i haven't put any extra concealer over it i've put a dot of concealer under each of my eyes and also like went down a little bit further because I've got a little red mark there today. And then I've just put it on my forehead, no concealer on my forehead. So yeah, that that feels mad to me to have that little coverage on because normally my cheeks are like covered in concealer. So I just feel really good for having like a much lighter layer on. I just think it's probably better for my skin to not have to like pile on a creamy concealer. Like I love my Dior creamy concealer that I've been using at the moment. I'll probably do a beauty favorites at some point because I've got so many things I'm really loving. So I'll do a beauty favourites with like a whole tutorial mixed in because I know you love my 2019 favourites that was like that. So let me know, like give this video like a thumbs it, thumbs it up if you want to see that. Yeah, I've got a lot of beauty things that I'm loving, but that is just like one of them. It's doing good things. I just feel like my skin has a lot less product on it, which is great because I'm really trying to get it to clear up at the moment. I just want to do the best for it. That being said, I need to put SPF on. Let's do this. I'm in and out of this bathroom like an absolute yo-yo. Right, this is my SPF. I don't know if it's been discontinued. I really hope not because it's amazing. I ordered it off Amazon and I always feel like you know when something's like being discontinued when it goes onto Amazon. But I want to show you the glow that this gives. It's the Bioderma Hydra Bio SPF 30 Moisturising Anti-UV Mist. I've already got a base of SPF on but I like to this over the top because i use a lot of retinol and glycolic and that makes your skin a lot more sensitive to the sun with products like that you should wear spf you know daily for at least a week after using it so basically you need to wear spf every day if you're going to let 
glycolic or retinol anywhere near your face or even vitamin c i feel like you're still meant to like use spf basically you're just meant to wear spf every day even in the winter and i actually do feel the difference if i've forgotten to put it on my skin feels like it gets hotter quicker so i literally if i forget to put it on i walk in the shade i look like such a freak and i will literally be like this so. i learned my lesson very quickly because i don't like looking like an idiot in public And that glow like it settles but it doesn't really leave so yeah i always look quite glowy if you see me out in public it's just the spf my skin's not that good people actually comment on this in public they're like wow your skin is glowing and i'm like uh, thank you that is me ready to go i'll show you my outfit so this is what i'm wearing today i'm actually gonna go out without a coat which could be the worst decision of my recent existence but i'm gonna just see this is a knitted top from zara you will have seen this in my recent zara haul i'm just wearing it with uh oh that's lauren hello let's see if this works mm, is that great gonna open fuck's sake i'll come down okay two seconds okay i need to make this real quick i can't blabber on about my outfit because i need to go out to lauren because the gate's still broken yeah so zara got a Victoria's Secret t-shirt bra on underneath which works a treat if you're one of those people that doesn't want to go braless I really recommend them I like their bras I don't like them as a company but I really like the bras anyway Zara leather look trousers leggings whatever they're called everything will be linked my Chanel boy bag which I'm obsessed with wearing at the moment and then my Zara chunky Prada look boots and yeah that is it I'm going out without a coat Wish me luck. Are home. I've taken a small detour on the way to Cake and Coffee, but they have really good white company pajama dupes in Zara Home. I'm just letting you know, they're good. This is cute. So if you want diptyque scent dupes, these are the ones. They're so great. What do you put in that? Um, I like that you match this little section. <laughs> this like this shot is like all yellow and tan. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren will be the best godmother to my children. You do realise you're going to end up being everyone's godmother because no, I wouldn't pick anyone else. I would not pick anyone else. Don't worry, I am I'm passing through the children's section. I'm not here for any reason. Don't get excited. On the other hand, is just loitering in the children's section. What? <laughs> That's really cute. Um, can we just what? A, what the? I oh, know. That's creeping me out. I can't be a parent. Oh, you can actually buy them. Also, have you seen these down here? I know the little pig. <laughs> I just really like the little pigs. I think oh. Tallulah will have a lot of things like this in her I bedroom. Know. I can feel it. I know, I can feel it too. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's naming her child Tallulah, by the way. Tallulah. Just so everyone knows. Oh, more fluffy pillows. This is distracted. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Oh Guys. my god, we got so distracted from what we came in here for. Need a baby to dress up. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm about kitchen stuff. Oh, they don't have the knives and forks in that I like. Oh, I knew I'd miss it. I'd miss the boat on them. That's so annoying. They have like duo chrome knives and forks. They are amazing. F1 Zara return done. F1 Zara home haul complete. I need to get better at this taking shit back stuff. What is that? Because that looks insane and I need some. I feel like I've really learned something today. I look like ballerinas. I do. Aww. <laughs>
How cute is this? Shout out to Hannah at Guns Florist who put this together for me. I showed her the inspo pic for this on Pinterest. I'll pop it here now. But I showed it to her and I could kind of see the fear in her face, but she did an epic job at this, even like turning the roses. It just looks amazing. I'm hoping I don't botch this too much when I'm getting it into the vase, but yeah, I love this. I'm so excited. So beautiful. How gorgeous is this, you guys? I wanted to put this in my entranceway originally, but it's too pretty to not see every day. So beautiful. Oh, makes me so happy. It's huge. Oh, I just love it. It looks so gorgeous. It's so nice. I feel like the light in here is really pants right now, so it doesn't look as good as it could. Like the color balance and the camera isn't focusing it, but it's so pretty. I love it so much. So beautiful. I wish I could just sit here and admire it, but I actually have to go and get on with some work now, <laughs> which is sad. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy with this. Nice reward to myself for getting my life in order. I'll also quickly show you what I got in Zara home. Could have come up with a lot more, but I was very restrained. I'm really trying to not buy too much until I move. I just feel like it's the best plan of action really, isn't it? I have been needing new towels. Basically I have my black ones, which I love. I think they look so good in my bathroom. It's a very like deep gray bathroom. Not like actually not deep gray, but like a very blue toned, cool toned gray. And it's lovely, I love it so much. But I probably wouldn't ever pick it again because you don't get the most choice with towels, I find, especially because it's a very blue toned gray. You have to have something quite cool toned in it, which is why I like black because, you know, mid-tone like gray or like a dull gray. I have like one dull gray hand towel, like very like standard gray. And then you can have like stuff like that, but I didn't want all of my towels to be that kind of gray. Cause to be honest, I just don't love it. Like this kind of color is kind of what I'm talking about. I just didn't love it. And it just wasn't my vibe. But then if you go for anything too lilac toned, it just all looks too matchy matchy. But I thought that this would be perfect for now. And for when I move, this is like a dusky, beigey tone but it's a cool toned beige color so it almost is like a slight gray but it's not a gray and i think this will be perfect it will probably look a little bit too matchy matchy in this bathroom but i think going forwards it will blend with any bathroom and it's also not going to get this is where i was going i have black towels they look the best in that bathroom i love them so much and they really go nicely with like my bath mat and stuff but they get black fluff all over you and i know everyone was like put them in the washing i was about to say dishwasher put them in the washing machine and then put them in the tumble dryer i've done it and i've done that and i've done that and i've done it <laughs> again and it's still like everywhere and it's just like now i just find sometimes when i'm like it's everywhere no matter how much i dust clean hoover like i am so really like neurotic with that bathroom and it's just it gets a a little bit gets on your hands and then you touch your face and then it's like in your makeup and it just makes your makeup look le less perfect so it's like really affecting my everyday life which is so stupid because it's a towel anyway lots of my friends that have got black towels have had the same issue but i picked these up from zara home they seem like they're really good quality and that they're not gonna like molt a lot like the ones i got from dunelm always have so i'm hoping that these will be a bit better and uh, this lovely ribbed fabric they just they like just look like they're nice quality you know like, this is exactly what I wanted and I've been saying to myself for ages that like, I'm gonna go and like go towel shopping and I just happened to be in Zara home and I just thought these were perfect so yeah I got two of those two nice big ones and then two like little like hand towely things it's cute so yeah very very happy with those they cost a bomb but you know if it means that I'm not gonna have black fluff all over my face, I'll take it. I'm doing some work. I'm currently scouting locations for something that I need to shoot coming up, which involves leaving the country, <laughs> which is great because I'm sick of this weather. It's actually just an actual joke. But yeah, very much looking forward to booking some things for over the summer, for some summer stuff, and then something a little bit closer, hopefully. So yeah, really exciting stuff. I'll show you my working from home outfit 
This top is from ASOS. This is a great one if you don't like a body but you like the shape of the current Zara bodies. This is a beautiful like minky nude tone. It's really gorgeous and it's a little bit ribbed as well. I don't know if you can see that. The light's quite bad in here. Sorry about that. It's not ideal filming at night and I'm not turning the light on because it's downward lighting. Honestly, spotlights, who'd have them? So love this top though. So it's quite long, it comes down to about here. Here. Yeah, really, really like it. It's such a beautiful quality basic and really good value for money, I believe, if, for, if my memory serves me right. I really, really like it. They've got a lot like this on ASOS and I would highly recommend. They're not like see-through either. The white one isn't like see-through, whereas some other ribbed kind of white t-shirts, I have this in white as well, they are a bit see-through. This one, this style doesn't actually come up see-through at all, which is fab. So yeah, they do some white, I believe in black. This gorgeous like minky toned nude color. You probably will have seen this on my stories, but um, yeah, I absolutely love it. You will need a strapless bra on this if you want to wear a bra though. My t-shirt bra was fine, but the straps came like here, which is not really ideal. Fortunately, I'm just sitting at home today, so no biggie. Then I've got these Zara joggers in this gorgeous nude tone. I love them. But yeah, I really love these. They're an absolute staple in my wardrobe. Well, my loungewear wardrobe, and then I don't have anything on my feet. But yeah, it's just my working from home outfit for this evening. Ryan's on his way home and we're gonna be having pasta tonight and I'm so ready for that. I also have the cutest setup here. This is making me feel very, very cozy. Love it. So this one's called Swing. Right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I've had my dinner. Glad to see you, Ryan. Thank you very much. And now we're gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I've been watching The Great Hack on Netflix. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna go and get ready for bed. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with you very, very soon because I'm doing the wardrobe clear out this week. I think, I think this week, if I get time. Um, if not, it'll be at the weekend. So yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing my wardrobe clear out on organization very soon. I've got another video that I need to film as well. So I'm gonna get on that because uh, I've booked this, sorry, Ryan's brushing his teeth. Yeah, I've booked this trip, so I'm gonna be going pretty soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna need to film all the videos. So they're gonna be coming your way. I hope you guys enjoy that. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.